lights, three stars, man. We got the Mr. Ricky Bobby stop. Yeah. Pose for the frame. Yeah. Be hemp in a motherfucking building. What's good, King? Yeah, what's up, fam? Man, yeah. long time, long time coming, yeah. man. Yeah, for real. Man, um, man, this is a blessing right here, man. I gotta say, uh, uh, during the height, or I would say during the height of, uh, you know, where you was at with, you know, yeah, the Ricky Bobby and doing your thing, and uh, you know, Dallas was getting a name for itself, man. When we first started this Real Life Street Stars and we were trying to do uh, this as far as get the city more light, yeah. you was one of the people that we was uh, trying to, you know, get a hold of because, you know, y'all was worldwide and yeah. and the movement was worldwide. And I'm like, man, these are superstars in our own city. So it was yeah. like, even when we started, like, man, we got to approach them, but how do we approach them to, you know, have them come in? And it turns out you're a humble guy. <laughs> yeah, man. I, I ain't gonna lie. I probably was like one of the only people that was I was accepting for everybody, you know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't care if I, if, if, if I didn't know you or not, and I was, if we were somewhere, I'm gonna treat you like, you know what I'm saying? Like I knew you, or if we was, you know what I'm saying? Cool, whatever, cause I feel like I wouldn't be where I was if it wasn't for everybody else, you know what That's I'm saying? Real. So, I never would've treated nobody like, ah, I got my back, man, you know? Definitely, man. Well, let's go and do it, man, for the fans, for the kids sitting at home, man, who, who are looking at you like, wonder, man, who is that? Yeah. Go ahead and let them know, man, uh, where you from, how you, the come up story as far as, you know, what part of hood yeah. you from. Uh, it's your boy, B-Hemp, you know what I'm saying, Mr. Ricky Bobby. I'm out of Dallas, Fort Worth, you know what I'm saying? I grew up in Dallas, moved to Arlington, stayed out there, spent time in Fort Worth, so too. I'm DF Dub, that's why I put it, the whole DF Dub, say like that. How, how'd you get the name B-Hemp? It's my first and my last name. Brandon Hampton, so okay. I just, uh, it's Shorten, high school, you know what I'm saying? Was that the name you want to run with, uh, with, you know, with the rap? Cause well, they it was like, I had, I had had the name for so long, that's why I was being called. For, 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 like I said, since high school, freshman year, everybody was calling me b Hemp. So I just kind of stuck with it and just, and just ran with it. I wasn't trying to make up no, no extra name or something, you know, I was like, I might as well just run with my real name, so. Or like that. I gotta ask you, cause you know, um, yeah, like I said, man, you know, your demeanor is just so, you know, yeah. carefree. It's just, it's fun. Yeah. Uh, were you always um, wanting to be a rapper? Cause you know, in Dallas, it was always like that gangster rap that kind of yeah. came up. Yeah. You had to be from that gangster background. Were yeah. you always wanted to like follow that? Nah, I, I always wanted to do it. I just, I just, instead of coming out like that, I switched my style. You know what I'm saying? Cause I was the person in the club. I'm I'm in the middle I'm in the middle of the fights, but I'm still having fun. You know what I'm saying? I'm 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 a party. I'm the person that come to the party to get the party started. Like if everybody's sitting around, I'm like, nah, y'all come on, like come on, let's turn up, let's get lit. That's me. It's always been me. But instead of me coming out like, oh, I'm a street nigga, boop 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 boop, cause I know I wasn't I wasn't in the streets like that. So it was there was no point in me doing that. So I was like, see, I'm just finna have fun. I'm finna do the type of music that I want everybody to have fun instead of. Shit, not being able to go over here, not being able to go over there. I want to be able to go anywhere I can. So that's why I just did it. Man, let's go and get into it, man. Uh, you know, we had uh, Party Boys up here, and they were telling us that their first song ever recorded was Flex. Yeah. Like, that's the, yeah. they went in there, that's the first one they did, yeah. and that was it. Yeah. Um, I got to know the origin of how did, you know, the Ricky Bobby come about? Okay, the Ricky Bobby came about. I was in a group. I, always, I was always in a group. Like, you know, in high school, everybody, Got your little group that you, yeah. <laughs> and um, I did, we did a song, and in my verse, I said the hook to Ricky Bobby. It's like, it's like my boss. And somebody was like, man, nigga, you need to make that a song. And it was the first song I ever did by myself. Like, my first solo song I did was Ricky Bobby. Damn. And literally, like, I did that, I did that song on a Sunday. No, it was a Monday, because I was at, I had a job. I got off work, went and recorded the song that night. Wednesday, we like kind of put it together. I went and took it to my manager at the time. That Thursday, shit, he called me Friday and was like, Sunday, you're gonna perform it at Rhythm City. I was like, man, that's cap. But shit, we did it and from there on, it just literally like within a month, it was on the radio and everything. So, Super hit. Yeah. So like, how did you feel once you realized like, this is it, it's going? going like what was that feeling like on the cool it, i feel like it, it didn't really hit me because it happened so fast i ain't really like like the first time i was on the radio i'm on lunch and big bink was on the radio yeah, shout he's out like yo he's like brand new artist 
shirt out of Dallas. And I'm hearing like they always play the instrumental. So I'm like, all right, you need this playing the instrumental. And he like, brand new artist, B him. Do the Ricky Bobby. Played that. I'm like, they got a fever. I ain't gonna lie, I got sick. I caught a fever. I was lit, like, oh, went back to work, like, they playing my song on the radio, they playing my song on the radio. And they was like, see, well, you can go home for the rest of the day if you want to. Like, what, yeah, yeah. Like, what job was this, man? What job? This was Monotronic. <laughs> Monotronic is right there on, uh, on 35 and Valley View. Man. 35 and Valley View, that big old white building behind the shell. Did you ever go back after that day? Nah, yeah, nah. <laughs> that was man. it. What, and what song was popping at the time? Uh, like, who in the city was popping? Man, it was uh, my Lil Will, my Dougie. You had uh, Trap Stars, Trap Star Cartel, uh, Dem, Shit. Uh, who else was it? Them really was, uh, them really was like the, the big songs right there. Yeah. Oh, Damn D. Yeah, because yeah. I remember my first, my first performance at Rhythm City, it was all of them. Yeah. <laughs> and they made me perform right before... Uh, who was it? It was right before, I want to say Lil Will. Because mm. Lil Will had the biggest song at the time. So, shit, right? They had me come on right before him. And then after that, I was like, ah, oh, shit. Man. Yeah. So, how quickly did the dance come up? And who made the dance? Was that you or was that? Yeah, you know, I made the dance. And the dance came after the song. Like, yeah. I, it was just like, you know, so we used to jig. Yeah, so, yeah. I'm like, the Ricky Bobby was just this. And then I did a photo shoot probably like two weeks after that. Cold. After, I, after I performed at Rhythm City, I was doing a photo shoot for the song. And they yeah. was like, you saying do the Ricky Bobby? Well, what's the Ricky Bobby? I'm like this. And they like, nah, you got to uh, you gotta make a dance to it. Right. So I was like, all right. I just started thinking about shit that was in the movie and just put something together. And did shot the, shot the YouTube video like on a white screen. The first, the first uh, instruction video, was on a white screen and, and literally like I took it down and redid it because it was so many people hating on it at the time. So many people was hating on it. Hey, what's this bullshit? This shit whack. Woo 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 woo. And I'm like, damn, they do not fuck with me. Yeah, but see, but I was at the time, you know, I'm like, now they don't fuck with me. Like, dang, it's fucked up. But then, next thing you know, I re put it up. It had like a million views just off of like that quick. Just, and at the time it was MySpace. So on MySpace, I'm getting like four, five thousand plays every day. And I'm like, dang, okay. Like, okay, we, we got something going now. So then All right, so a lot of people would say, would you say the internet was what made you yeah. pop? Yeah, well, I won't say the internet because around where when I came in, it was in the middle of the internet and still like the streets. And I cause when I when we got the Ricky Bobby high bar, I was still hitting the streets. I was going to Lord Greenville, Deep Ellum every day, like just passing out flyers. You know what I'm saying? Anytime, any, any place we would go, I'm passing out flyers, passing out flyers and doing open mics, all of that. I was doing all of that type of stuff and going to every club. And then I feel like once it started getting the buzz, that's when the internet kind of like switched over and took from there because YouTube wasn't even, YouTube wasn't even really just big like that at the time. It was, it was still like, people didn't know about YouTube. They were still going on MySpace to see your stuff or, you know, they see you and doing it in the club or something like that. So I feel like it, it helped. It helped towards the end to boost it even more. Like back in the day, you know, you had the definition DJs, right? Yeah, yeah. Is there any DJ that you would give credit to that, that really helped push yeah. your shit? It was uh, G-Rock, DJ Q, uh, and um, it was G-Rock, DJ Q, uh, Damn, drop. Drop. It was drop. Uh, you know, rest in peace to the homie Hollywood. Hollywood. Like all of them. It was the ones that got behind I was definitely it. there yeah. when it when it was breaking. Yeah, K Rock. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. All of them. K Rock, that the man, them like my uncle. You know G Rock, he used to spin it back to back, back, back to, to back, back, yeah. back to back. I remember G Rock used to tell me in the club, he used to be like, he used to tell me, he said, I'm gonna play this song four times. Tonight. Yeah, and I'm like four times. Yeah, all right. Like ain't nobody gonna want to hear it. He said, "Nah, you gotta." He said he used to tell me, "Watch this, break the club down." Yeah. He said, "All right, I'm finna play it here. They ain't, they ain't gonna pay no attention to it." Then he said, "All right, like an hour later, right, I'm finna play it now. They gonna start paying attention to it." And then he said, "All right, I'm finna make them fight. Play fight music, get people to fight." And then he said, "All right, now watch this. 
I'm gonna play it again after they fight. Play it again, so now everybody's attention is on the music now. So then he do that. Then now they dancing to it like, okay, what's this? And then he said, I'm gonna play it again at the end of the night. So they, they can hear it when they leave. And so when they leave, it's still on their mind. And I was like, damn, and I would watch him do that. And DJ Q would do the same thing. So I'm like, damn, like. It's more okay. science to the shit. Yeah, there's more science to it. So yeah. that's, I took that as an artist, you know what I'm saying? As far Thanks. as when it comes to music, you want to do something that, you want, you want to be able to know how the crowd going to rock and how you, can, how you can control the crowd. So I took all of that in even with performing. So I, you know, I used to play, I used to start the song over four times before I performed the whole song. Just so it'd be stuck in people's head. That's real. Yeah. I mean, I was always curious, were you a fan of uh, the movie to make the song, or were you just like, I just need something to catch? And did nah, the- uh, the, the song, the, I was watching the movie, and it was the, I ain't, I'm not really a person that laugh, I, oh, I used to then laugh like out loud. I would just laugh to myself, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, just, all right, that's shit funny. But that was the first movie that, like, I was laughing. Like, I'm sitting in a room laughing, like, damn, this shit Got funny. that cougar in the car. Yeah, so it was funny. So that's why I was just laughing. And I was like, damn. So I, I ended up going to do the song, like, that next day. And I just did it in the verse, because I was thinking about it. Like, damn, that movie funny in the bitch. And so I just put it, do the Ricky Bobby stop, pose for the frame. Then I dip, and we all do the same thing. And everybody like, what, nigga? <laughs> do, you, so, do you feel like they help, you help their DVD sales? Oh, yeah. They told me. <laughs> So, they told so y'all was like, saying, they, they, did they, they reach started, out to you? They used to start tagging, uh, they, was, they would start tagging, like when you used to Google it, they would tag they stuff to the song, you know what uh-huh. I'm saying? They <laughs> ringtones, all of that, they would tag it to like people searching for the song and stuff. Does a bag come with that, like nah, that person? It don't, it, it don't, like, but if they was to put it in the movie, then yeah, like if they was to do another yeah. Ricky Bobby movie, then okay. yeah. There you go, Will Ferrell? There. Yeah. God damn it. And I was, I, when I went on one of those Park, I was trying to get him to come in there and do it. And he, w- he was going to come, but he was shooting that you know, stupid dinosaur movie at the time. So, <laughs> yeah, that was stupid. So I'm like, man, he could have been on, on there with me. That would have just took it to the next level. Yeah. What was the love like? Like, after it had went for what that time was viral, yeah. after you had done shows, after you saw that, like, you was just getting all of these listens and everything, yeah. what was the love like? from the ladies, even from the fellas, like, Man, was it, it was different? Crazy. Like, when you went out in public, was it like, ah? Yeah, it was crazy. Like, when it when it came to, like, the people, just people in general, it used to be, like, I guess was also from being humble and, like, accepting everybody, I got show a, a lot more love than, like, early, because everybody, I remember, like, they used to do shows at Rhythm City, and when they would hear somebody was coming to Cirque that Sunday, they will be like, Hemp, I need you to come perform this week. And I'm like, all right, bet. And they'll put it out there. Oh, be him gonna come, be him gonna come. And we would get everybody at Rhythm City over a big artist at, at Cirque. So I, that's when I kind of knew like, okay, the city the city really messing with it. And like, dudes and things that I thought would be hating was like, hey, I fuck with that. Or they'll say something like, man, I fuck with your music because my kids fuck with your music. I'm like, shit, I don't, whoever fuck with it, I fuck with it. And the ladies, it was just, I don't know. Yeah. They, I don't know. They was lit. Who was the, <laughs> who was the throw this person you seen hit the, hit the Ricky Bobby as far Beyonce. as? Beyonce. Beyonce hit it. Yeah. Did she do it right or did you have some critique nah, for her? Nah, she hit that whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> she yeah. hit that whole with, with ease. And that made me be like, damn, well, let, me go fix, let me go fix my Ricky Bobby then. <laughs> That's that Texas so, shit. Yeah, she hit it smooth. I was like, oh, okay. That's yeah. real. Um, and it's funny because someone was telling me like, man, uh, that boy be him. He out there in Germany with it. He out there yeah. moving with it. How how far did that shit take you, you personally? Uh, Germany, uh, right now, shit, I, Japan. Damn it, Japan. Know, it's going it's going on in Japan right now. And they so. like when you're when you're out there, and you I mean you see people grab to the song like they yeah. Are they singing word for word? Or did I mean? Nah, they singing it word for word. They trying to do the dance. Uh, nobody never really hit the dance right. <laughs> Don't nobody hit the dance right, but they didn't watch the instruction video. <laughs> yeah, but they they do it. You know what I'm saying? Everybody know the main part, which is the wheelchair. They they hit that. That's their main part. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But it'd be crazy because back to the earlier question about how how it felt. It's crazy because you see like you see like like you can go somewhere one day and don't nobody know who you is, and the next day you can be somewhere and you got the whole mile following you. Like, and it's just, it'd be crazy because it's just all off of internet and 
you know, radio, stuff like that. Like I had a, I went to Denver, Colorado, not Denver, it was, yeah, Denver, Colorado. And I got no radio play out there. Like I'm, I just had a show, I got booked for a show. So I was like, all right, cool. We go to the mall and I literally walk in the mall, straight through the food court, go down to the restroom. Come out the restroom, walk back through the food court. And as we walk in, it's a gang of people behind me. Like the whole mall, it seemed like they just started to follow. And the police walked up and they like, who's that? And they like, oh, he's a rapper. And they like, so what's going on? Like, is something wrong? And now nah, they were just following me. So I was like, all right, cool. Like before they start, you know, try to give me a ticket or something, I stopped taking pictures with everybody. So I literally just stopped taking pictures with everybody. But it just be that feeling like you don't never know who know you and where. Cause like I said, I wouldn't get no radio play out there at all. So you saying they'll give you a ticket for being popular? Yeah, like if you if you they call it they, yeah like a like a riot you starting a riot, yeah you know so like, like you know you're supposed to be in the house you ain't supposed to <laughs> yeah like they you ain't supposed to be like they you're they call like first you, yeah if you're supposed to be someone you're supposed to send somebody else to do it, it ain't supposed to be you because you can cause a riot and people can be you know hurt and all that but well like have you ever had like fans being too aggressive with you yeah. Like, what's the craziest thing that they've done? We was in uh, Little Rock, Arkansas. Now, doing My show. city, okay. Uh, all right, yeah. all right. All right. <laughs> so we in Little Rock. I'm at the hotel, we finna go to the show. So we leaving, and the lady at the front desk was like, hey, it be him. I'm like, yeah, it's like, you got a phone call. I'm like, I got a phone call. So uh, I get on the phone, I'm like, hello. And there's a lady, she's like, hey, be him. Um, we gotta come pick you up, so stay where you are. We finna come pick you up and take you to the venue. And I'm just like, oh, all right, here, talk to my manager. So he got off the phone, he hang up, and then the lady on the, at the thing was like, we just got an alert that this person done called every hotel in the city till they found you. Oh, I, yeah, so I was just like, hey, no. yeah, yeah, so. No, I was, no, I, no, we did. So when they tell us that we got in the car and went straight to the venue, like. So okay, I was about to say when that happens, do you guys switch hotels? Or? Yeah, but I had a show. I had a show in Dumas after that, so we literally just hopped in the car and drove to Dumas. Okay, so you yeah. got some stalkers. Okay. <laughs> now and I asked, uh, you know, because you know during that era it was a yeah. lot of popular songs. Yeah. But a lot of people didn't know the faces of who it is. I think you probably had yeah. one of the more familiar faces. Yeah, it, it, man, in that era. You could not go to no city, no state, and not hear Dallas music. Man. You know what I'm saying? And I, I kind of I missed that because at the time, shit, we would have every like it would be like two Dallas artists booked to come yeah. do this show. You know, or or next week you might have one artist this week. The next week you got the other artist. The week after that you got another artist. You know what I'm saying? And and, and it was just so many Dallas songs. It sounded like you like you was here, and right. you would hear everything that was heard in all these other states. And I'm sitting here like, dang, bro, like if we all just came together and did just one big old tour, bro, we're gonna eat. But Man, even to this day, to this day. Yeah, to this to day. This day. Nah, for real. Y'all did what it was. For real. Now like, I be I, I be saying it all the time, like, man, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put a show together. I'm gonna put a show you, together. We be, we be talking about that shit. Yeah. That shit be, oh my god. Nah, for real. No, it's just I be that's why I be I be wishing everybody like stop stop what they had going on, you know what I'm saying? Stop all the extra the beefing and all of that, cause Bro, we 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 got. They don't understand that we got the whole city. Like everything that everybody do, it come from here. No facts. It come from here. Look at look at the, all of the dances everybody doing. They come from right here. No facts. You know facts. what I'm saying? Look at how look at how people acting and talking and dressing. All that come from here. Look at how they rapping. That's facts. all from here. Man, but. so what would you say during that boogie era? Like you personally, what do you feel killed the boogie era? Because People always say Dallas shot themselves in the foot with their own movement. They did, cause you you gotta understand. Instead of people just embracing it and still doing their own thing, they were shitting on it. You know, so just say like if you had to connect, just say if you had to connect with somebody in another city, and they call and be like, man, what you think about that Ricky Bobby song? They be like, man, fuck that shit. That shit ain't Dallas. That ain't us. Instead of just being like, hey man, that how that how rock the club. But man, see, you gotta check this person out too, though. You know what I'm saying? Instead of doing it like that, nobody was doing that. Nobody was doing that. It was more. It was. It was. It was crazy because the influencers was was shitting on it, That's and it's right. like, why? 
That's Why would you do that? Just because it's not it's not your flavor, that don't mean you shit on it, you know? Um, how how lucrative was the boogie era for you personally, just doing that whole thing? Oh, it's very lucrative. <laughs> it's just now slowing down for me. So. Oh man, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. I, I gotta ask you, like, how how important, like, even during that time, from other artists and yourself, was to get your business right. You know, when you have like a hit song like that, like, did you know that early on? Or man, some- yeah. If you don't get your business right, then you really in the loss. And I ain't gonna lie, that's kind of one other thing too that messed up the whole era of the Dallas music. You know, because you had people that was you're asking for outrageous shit, bro. Like it's being outrageous with with these labels trying to get signed and stuff like that to where ain't nobody finna like man come on y'all niggas can't be serious asking for that. How do you feel about the music now? Uh, I I like it now. I just feel like I feel like now I kind of feel like everybody's kind of stuck to open up. You know what I'm saying? Like to be to be open to try new stuff or go new places. You know what I'm saying? Because right. It's like we got big artists, and to me, everybody that's popping right now is talented. Everybody. Yeah. But you be scared to leave her. You got a lot of people that they scared to leave their traps. You know, they scared to to go out, go go away for a little while. Like the one way to blow up and catch these fans, you gotta go to these other cities. Gotcha. You gotta spend time in these other cities. At least at least be there three four months. You gotcha. know what I'm saying? Just to get to know people, know what's going on, build your fan base out there, and on to the next city. You know, you gotta connect with the people that's hot in that city and get your name going, but they don't wanna do it. They yeah. wanna stay right here, or then when people come here, you wanna cater to them here, but then shit, when they leave, they ain't fucking with you. They ain't fucking with you. And I'm like, bro, we gotta stop doing that. That's we real. gotta start being in the city that's like, okay, now nah, we popping in our city. You gotta fuck with us when you come out here. You know what I'm saying? Instead of it being like, oh, what you need? What you want? I got you. And then, you give it to them, and then when you leave, they don't give you no shout out, no nothing. Right. It's like you know? it's like it was always hard to get a bag here in Dallas. For us. To, yes, for us. But other artists will come out here and, and eat. Like eat. <laughs> if listen, if y'all pay attention, any artist that come out here before they know, within two, three months, they the biggest thing ever. And then what they shout out in all their songs. Dallas, 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 Dallas. Why? Because they come out here and eat. They gonna come out here and get. They gonna get a bag. They gonna get free free drugs. They gonna get women, whatever. Then they gonna leave. They ain't gonna say shit else about you. But I'm gonna shout you out when I blew up, cause I know y'all niggas gonna book me again in a few months. Y'all niggas gonna book me again in the next two months. And then y'all gonna continue to bring me out there. I'm gonna keep running that bag up, and I ain't gotta say nothing else to none of y'all as long as I keep saying, oh, I was at Dallas at so and so. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. And bring you back just for that, yeah, <laughs> just for the mission. Yeah. Uh, people, uh, people can go platinum right here. No. You can go platinum right here nice. in the city. You know what I'm saying? I've seen artists do it before. Bon B and them, when they used to go platinum, right here. Nice. Not in Houston, right here. Soldier Boy came right here, went platinum, right here. Sold a million just in Dallas. You know what I'm saying? Like, That's they got to do their research. We we really put everybody on. No, for, man. Yeah. I would say we're like, we're one of the, you know, we're like the five, top five. Uh, we are. We number five. Yeah, number five. Number five so market. we're just such a consumer city that we gonna consume it all. Mm-hmm. But we just didn't produce. Yeah, we don't a get that respect. Stars, yeah. We don't get that respect like like every other city do. Man, but, I would say, um, it seems like from the boogie era it went to like a lot of these artists blowing up off of you know beefs and yeah. like going at each other and yeah. stuff like that. Uh, what are your thoughts on that when you see that? Because it's still prevalent to this day that the beef is kind of what keeps the commentary going. Man, that's stupid. Just being real, it's dumb. Cause what you get out of it? You lose a couple homies, or you get yourself in some shit. Then what you get? Cause just being real, the industry ain't gonna message you. They don't message you after that. Like when they see that you, when they see you a troubled person, ain't no, ain't no clubs gonna wanna book you. You know what I'm saying? They're not gonna wanna book you out cause they gonna feel like any, if I bring you here, shit, you gonna cause trouble here. Then I done lost out on money, or you gonna get in some trouble, or it's gonna be something happen, somebody gonna get killed or something. You lose out on stuff. What people don't understand, you come together, you're going to make shit shape. Why you think, look at Atlanta. Them niggas, even if I ain't winning on the same side, we're going to do some songs together. We're going to blow up. You know what I'm saying? LA do the same thing. New York do the same thing. It seems like those those uh, spots have like OGs in the music game to kind of try to yeah. cater the young to get to the yeah. bag. It seems like Dallas may not have that. Do you feel like that's what's missing or? Uh, I don't think so, cause they ain't gonna listen anyway. <laughs> and I ain't not. I'm not just saying her. I'm just saying like, 
in general, if you look at it nowadays, the, the shit, the young niggas ain't listening. They not listening to an OG. They thinking like, all right, whatever you say, my nigga. I'm still finna go do this. But I feel like it's more so people gotta just, sometimes you gotta put your pride to the side. Cause, cause just cause you don't got it at this moment, that don't mean you can't pass it out to your, to the next person. You can't pass it out to the next person and let them get their shine on. You know what I'm saying? Gotta see the bigger picture, man. Yeah, you gotta see the bigger picture. Man, so you uh, you went away for a while, man. Where, what have you been doing um, in the hiatus, man? I mean, are you are you still like, cause the Ricky Bobby, I think you had one other, um, you had, how, how many other songs you had after that that kind of popped up? I had up? like six. Yeah, when like, I stopped doing that, I had four songs on the radio. Yeah. Four songs on the radio, so. Um, yeah, what have you been doing since then? And of course, you know, now we're in 2020, man. Uh, it seems like people have missed the book year where they're trying to get back to that now. Yeah. Like, what, what's, your, what's your stake in it? I, uh, I took a break because of that big tall girl behind you, my daughter. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> her and her sisters. Yeah, that one to her. They, I had got custody of them. And I was just like, shit. I was gone. And she was little at the time. She was seven. Oh, yeah. And she was like, Daddy, why y'all always gone? And that shit kind of like hurt. Yeah. That hit me because it's like, damn, how can you, you know, you, you can't explain it back. to her. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she ain't going to, she ain't not, they not going to understand. So after that, I was like, man. Fuck this shit, I'm done. And then I was going through shit with my old label. And I was just like, man, this is just too much right now. Like, I'm gonna just, let me take a break. Let me be a dad and focus on them. And then, you know, I just keep my contacts and still be there for people. And then hopefully when I come back, I can still go to the same people and reach out and make things happen. But, you know, we're gonna see. Were you we're still recording see. sporadically during that time? Or? Yeah, I was. I was recording here and there, but I wasn't ever pushing it and I wasn't going out. And, meeting with people and then I was just kind of sending stuff off like hey you feel a song you know but I didn't I would I wasn't into it I wasn't into it every time I felt like all right I'm gonna do it again it's kind of like man this shit going on these niggas being fake I don't feel like kissing his ass and doing all that shit I don't feel like doing all that shit but now you ain't gotta do it now, now you, you can just yeah you can run it up and, uh, yeah. yeah, the internet's, the, the internet's yeah, the changed internet, since then, yeah, social changed. media's changed, it's a yeah. new bag to get, yeah. and uh, it seems like people move on nostalgia and famili familiarity. Mm -hmm. So, you know, your name already is, yeah. you know, it's kind of easy to get back yeah. into it. So, yeah. what's the plan, like, you know, as far as attacking it going forward with the well, music? Well, I'm finna, back in the day, I used to just do a single, 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 single. Now I'm finna work on an album, you know what I'm saying, to put a project out, have a whole project together and put out, instead of just dropping a song, seeing if that's gonna go or pushing that one song, I'd rather give people a full project and let them see what songs that they like and just build a whole fan base off of that. Build my fan base more off of, off of a project and continue to drop projects, more and more projects and just let it go. Travel, go see, you know, go all these different places to get my face back out there again, so. Have, has there ever been a situation where someone has showed up to a, a venue posing as you? Yeah, <laughs> plenty of times. Plenty of times, like <laughs> be happy to build it. Yeah, and people hit me like, bro, why didn't you tell me he's out here? Like, nigga, ain't out there. Man, I swear to God, there's a nigga in the club right now saying he you. There's a nigga in the club saying that be he you. And they shouting this nigga out and everything. Damn. Like, nah, but yeah, it's, it's not happening. A few I don't know why people do that. <laughs> the game is cutthroat. <laughs> Real. <laughs> man, uh, you know, we always ask on street stars, man, as far as uh What's one of the, in this business, as far as what's one of the realest things that happened to you as far as just love that you've seen? Mm -hmm. And what's one of the fakest things that's happened as far as like, damn, I didn't know the game was that cutthroat. Uh, the realest thing is seeing like, just seeing how people embrace you. You know what I'm saying? How, how when you go somewhere and you, and like I said, when you think people ain't gonna show you no love and it really be like the people that's like, nah, we rock with you here. You know what I'm saying? And people just, a lot of people will go out their way to like be there for you when they see that you know you're a real one. When they see you real, they're gonna support you regardless. And seeing that how now, like you said, I ain't dropped nothing forever and people still support me. People still be like, man, you know, where's the new music? Anytime I go somewhere, they be like, where's the new music? Where's the new music? I be out with my daughters. They like, people come shake my hand. Oh, you be out, let me get a picture. And they be like, you know him, daddy? And I'm like, no, nah, I don't know. They be like, dang, you know, even at their school, they teachers be like, Oh, I used to jam your daddy's song, like, you know? So it, it's stuff like that that's still, like, it, it, it's a blessing. And what, it, make, what, it make you happy every time. What's the craziest signature you had to sign? 
Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I done, I done signed a few up, upper areas and, you know. Yeah. yeah. You know I, I know I go, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. Man, definitely, definitely. Man, yeah. as far as, uh, you know, with this new age of music, is there anybody in the industry that, you know, that you liking, that you rocking with, that you would like to work with or you just rock out to? Man, I, rock, I, I ain't going to lie, I listen to everything. Yeah. I listen to everybody. If I see, I watch y'all interviews. And if it's somebody that I ain't never seen before or heard of, I go check out their stuff. It's been plenty of these upcoming artists from out here. I've been in their DMs like, hey, bro, good shit. Keep going, you know, keep stepping on their neck. Like, keep keep your stuff going. And I don't want nothing from nobody. You know, I done, I done helped so many people with, like, their business part, setting up their stuff. And it's just like, that stuff, that's, that, that feel good to me. You know what I'm saying? Because I didn't have that. I didn't have that coming up. I didn't have that that artist that's already been there kind of give me advice or you know try to lead me down the road to do stuff. So I, I always feel like I'm anybody that need my help, I got you. So. Definitely, definitely. Um, do you plan on uh, you know as far as when your career came up in Dallas? Of course, Dallas is the mecca where you know it all started. Yeah. Do you plan on uh, moving around as far as just planting your feet somewhere else? You know, I know like. Atlanta got the wave, you know, now Miami got the wave yeah. a little bit. I don't feel like you got to do that, you know what I'm saying? I don't feel like you got to do it. I feel like you got to go out there and, you know, work and make sure that you get you get your base established out there. But I don't feel like you got to leave your home unless, you know, you just got to get away. You got to get away and get protected because of that. But than that, I don't feel like you got to leave to blow up. Nah, that's real, that's real. Man, well, you know, it's definitely been a blessing, man. I mean, it's just... You know the, the the wave that you know y'all did during the boogie era, man. Is just yeah. I don't think it'll ever be repeated. I swear I don't know who need to put the tour together. If you need to, you know what I'm saying. We got yeah. Duffy in the building. She maybe she need to run and yeah. play or something, man. That's, my, that's, that's much my dog. Yeah. That's my sister, bro. Straight up. That's Straight real. Up. Yeah. Man, yeah. the play need to my get ready. My sister. Yeah, you said y'all were neighbors. That's yeah. that's that in itself is throw. Yeah, that's my sister, man. I've been on her since we was little. I watch my name grow up. I'm like, yo, yo my nigga got me straight up. You know what I'm saying? Man, yeah. hey, maybe y'all need to run the play, man. The Dallas Boogie hey, Era hey, Tour. This, that ain't gonna lie. Duffy be on my ass. Like, <laughs> for real. Y'all don't know, fool. She I'm be telling on my you, man. Ass. Like, like, hey, she brought, she brought me to a crib one day and was like, hey, you gonna have to switch this shit up. Stop <laughs> doing this. And at the time, like, I was making songs. I was making, I was, I was beefed out. So I was making, like, angry songs. And she's like, what are you doing? Man. She's like, don't do that. Like, I'm a female. You think I want to hear you talk like this about a female? And I was like, damn. Yeah, man. So yeah, keep it light on me. Yeah. yeah, so, you know, shout out to Duffy. It's, it's so many people that be on my ass that's like my people, so. Nah, definitely, oh. man. I can see definitely, man, uh, like festivals, like Coachella type yeah. size festivals with yeah, the Yeah, I love performing. Yeah, yeah man, performing doing the damn thing. thing. Yeah. Definitely, man. Well, it's a blessing to have you come through, man. Uh, Thank y'all. As far as um, for people that do want to get at you, man, um, yeah. and do want to try to work with you, see what you got going on, man, what's the best way for them to follow you on social uh, media? Instagram, be on the score, hemp. Twitter, at be hemp, all together. So just hit me up. Definitely, man. You got any shout-outs you'd like to give? Hey, man, shout-out to everybody. Shout-out to the whole Dallas Fort Worth, man. Shout out, shout out, like I said, shout-out Duffy. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Shout-out to DJQ, man. That's my brother. Uh, Little man, self-made P, uh, Malcolm J, you know what I'm saying? So, shout out to everybody, man. My little ones, you did. For shout real. Out. Without them, it'd be nothing, man. Yeah, and shout out to y'all, man. Thank y'all for bringing me. For I real. love, Straight man, up. love, man. It, yeah. Just the fact, we fans of you, fam, man, it, it's all full circle, man. I'm, yeah. I'm just glad you came hey, down. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. I'll be paying attention to y'all stuff. I'll be hearing y'all music, too. So, yeah. <laughs> for real. And yeah. they recorded. Yeah. Rook. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm hearing it, so, yeah. Yeah, man, shout out to Angel White and everybody in the back, man. Um, yeah. Straight up. Hey. Be here, man. It's a blessing to have you come through, man. I mean, uh, once again, I mean, you Dallas royalty, man. Period, man. You I mean, internationally you. known, so yeah. I got it. Ain't shit. You are a real life street star, man. You already know what it is, hey, man. Thank hey, you. Salute. Salute. Hey. Shout out real life street stars, nigga. Move. Hey.